But let us just briefly see how the Janmashtami Leela unfolded according to Srimad Bhagavatam and the commentaries of great Acharyas. It didn't come easy. Krishna could have just come down. <laughs> but Devaki and Vasudevi, he, he arranged by his own sweet will for Kamsa to put them in prison. Now, if you're a father and a mother and you're in prison and you know that Kamsa is going to kill your children as soon as they're born, why would you have children? Because they loved them. They loved dearly every one of their children. When you have a child in your womb and you're waiting and then you see that little baby, you fall in love. Why would they have children when they know Kamsa's going to kill it? Because they knew Krishna was going to be their eighth child. So they had to have all these other children <laughs> just to facilitate Krishna's appearance. They endured so much. And Krishna appeared at the darkest time at midnight during the rainy season <laughs> in a prison cell. But before he came, our Acharyas explained, six children were killed by Kamsa consecutively. And these six children represent the enemies of devotion. Marichi is the personification of the mind. And these six children in their previous lives were the six children. They were Asura. They were demons who were the sons of Marichi. And they represent Kama, lust, Kroda, anger, Loba, greed, Mada, Moha, which means illusion and arrogance, madness, Matsara, envy. These qualities, unless we remove them from our hearts, Krishna will not appear within our hearts. And how are they removed? Describes Devaki represents Bhakti, and Kamsa represents fear of material existence. So when a devotee has fear of maya or material existence and in that takes shelter of Krishna very seriously. Sometimes Srila Prabhupada would say the problem with all of you is you don't have enough fear of maya. We play with fire and then we get burnt and we wonder why is Krishna doing this to me? It's like a mother tells her child don't put your hand in fire. And the child sticks the hand in fire and gets burnt and then says to the mother, why did you do this to me? You started the fire. <laughs> That's us. You know, why are we suffering? And we blame God. Krishna gives us all good instruction. But we play with maya, we get burnt, and then we... So we should actually have respect. Daivi yeshu gunamayi mama mayatura. When we understand how the material world operates, then we take shelter of the Lord. And in taking shelter of the Lord by Krishna's grace, we can conquer over lust and anger and envy and arrogance and greed and illusion. And then Balaramji, who represents the original guru, then the guru comes and he actually prepares our heart for Krishna's arrival. The, the guru comes, the shiksha gurus, diksha gurus, he or she's, by their instructions, by their example, and by the grace they carry through parampara. So to prepare for Janmastami, we understand that Krishna will appear in our heart to the degree we take shelter, to the degree we surrender. And surrender is not just a concept. It's an internal intention to put Krishna in the center of life, my life and to take my own egoistic selfishness out of the center of my life. And then that has to be expressed, the way we act, the way we speak, and especially the way we deal with one another. Krishna tells, Tatra Thishtami Narada Yatra Gayanti Madbhakta. Wherever my devotees are sincerely together to hear and chant my glories, I will be there. So to prepare for Janmashtami, we want to unite our own hearts as an expression of taking shelter, surrendering, 
and pleasing Krishna. We unite in our eagerness to hear Harikata together, in our eagerness to perform Sankirtan together, and in our eagerness to serve together. And one of the greatest services is in sharing with each other the nectar of devotion and in sharing with the world. In Janmastami, when we all come together to share our gratitude for Krishna's appearance within this world, to give this great benediction. And what pleases Krishna most when we receive Krishna ourselves, when we share with each other, and when we share with the whole world. Srila Prabhupada would say, every single person who comes to our temple is Krishna's special guest and should be treated accordingly. That's how we surrender. That's one of the ways. Prabhupada said, just accept what I've given you with all your heart and share it with others. First we share with each other, and then as a community we share it with all others. listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com.